Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto. If you're new to the channel, uh, we pretty much only talk about charts, crypto news, and just actual action. No fluff here, no hype. Uh, if you want to go feel good, go go listen to somebody else if you want some, some real crypto advice. You can stay with the channel, though. All right there, enough about the channel. Let's get on to the news. Well, what's been happening is we've actually heard a lot of news. Looks like Russia said they're likely to ban Bitcoin payments, the deputy minister says. But more importantly, we've been getting... Um, some talks about North or South Korea actually banning ICOs in South Korea. So that kind of let us down here a little bit. Uh, Bitcoin has a rising trend line that is being held up uh, decently, decently here. And the volume on Bitcoin isn't isn't too bad. It is an increase in volume. It did ca cause us a nice leg down, but we still have these large volume pops in play with much higher volume and much bigger price moves. So. Bitcoin is not looking too bad. Ethereum, though, is another case. Ethereum, <clears throat> Ethereum has an inverse head and shoulders that was broken to the upside that looks like we just failed that, and in a pretty spectacular fashion. Look at the volume here on, Bit on uh, Ethereum. The volume in Ethereum suggests that this move is not over yet. We also have these two candles that were, were pr pretty much in the middle of the second candle, but this candle um, not a lot of not, not not a lot of buying pressure right here. So looks like there was some selling and a little bit of sidestepping, and then uh, looks like we we could get a leg lower. Not sure if we get two or three legs lower, but looks like a leg lower. And a leg lower here would put us right at the top of this, right at the top of this head um, in this inverted head and shoulders pattern, right at the 255 area. So maybe that would be a good place to pick up some coins if we can get back down there. That would be good. If you want to take some coins here, I'm not too mad at you. Make sure you have a stop loss, though. And I would probably put that at this 277 area. <clears throat> a lot of coins showing the same similar pattern. Uh, Ripple looks like it just it caved in tremendously. You can see some of these lesser some of these lesser coins aren't holding up as well on the subsequent bars. This one has already broken its its uh, its bar here. We broke to the downside, so Ripple can get back down in here. Um, it's hard to say where it'll stop at this moment in time, but it looks like it is headed lower in the in the short term future here. Uh, looks like Litecoin kind of taking Bitcoin's lead here, although it has volume like Ethereum, so a big high volume bar. Uh, but we're consolidating here as well. A uh, few other coins we're going to look at here. IOTA, IOTA actually pulled a pretty good move here and broke out into broke out of this symmetrical triangle, broke out of its long term long term trend line here. So if you haven't seen that, I'll show that to you. Okay, so there's a long-term trend line in IOTA. Here's kind of a symmetrical triangle that was forming within this within this pattern. Uh, broke out of both, and now it's kind of come back into both. So some weakness in IOTA, unfortunately. We'll have to see how this plays out. And as you guys have noticed, most of these coins uh, kind of move together. So I think, you know, what one does, the others, others kind of do as well. Monero broke down in some pretty spectacular fashion here. Pretty spectacular fashion, so that's that's not boding well. Uh, Dash as well looks like it broke down out of its symmetrical triangle pattern that it had up here, and this symmetrical triangle it tried to break out, failed, and now looks like it's rolled over with the Korea ban news. Omisigo kind of about the same, kind of had a, a bit of a run up to 1150, and it just really folded on on much higher volume, uh, much higher volume than um, than all this recent buying history. Also consolidating for a potential move lower. Neo, much of the same. Um, our mover to the upside, our leader to the upside. Uh, looks like it's starting our lead to the downside with pretty good volume here. Uh, that's a really excellent volume bar to the downside, so that's something to keep an eye on. So that's about it, guys. Most of the coins aren't looking super good here. I would stay on the defensive. Um, I moved to a cash position personally. Um, the main reason for that, though, is not only the market sell-off, but I'm actually going on vacation for the next three days. I'll be camping up in up towards Flagstaff, Arizona, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna I moved to cash, and I will be kind of watching this from the sidelines. Uh, I don't know if I'll have any time to do any videos, as I'll be camping and having fun with the kids. So there's that. I'm going to enjoy myself there. I've had some good well wishes on the stream. I thank you guys for that. Um, so there you go. There's the market. It's turned bearish, unfortunately. So we'll see what happens there. Keep your stops tight. Make sure that you know if things go lower what your game plan is. You have to have a game plan even if it's to hold. Have a game plan. 
Um, so there you go, guys. Subscribe if you liked the video. And if you um, didn't like the video, you're probably not watching it anymore. So if you're still watching, hit the subscribe button. You like something. Like the video if you liked it. YouTube likes it when you do that. And I will see you guys on Monday. I will see you guys on Monday during the extreme stream. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.